No bigger star in the world of sports right now than Caitlin Clark, who joins me after a monster night as Iowa knocks off LSU onto the Final Four. Caitlin, from the moment this bracket comes out, our eyes can't help but see you and LSU again on a collision course. As a team, how do you guys stay in the moment to not get ahead of yourselves and not try to take last year's game and make it, you know, anything more than the tonight's game? Yeah, I think that's exactly what we did. We took it one game at a time. You know, it took us three more, three games before this to get in this moment. So, um, you know, every game was tough, and we know that better than anybody else. My sophomore year, we got upset on our home court, and it's hard to get to this point. Um, and then when you come out here and face a really, really good LSU team, and I thought they gave us everything we could handle. They played so well in the first half. You know, the way they crashed the boards was, was tremendous, but we found a way to answer every single time and came up with big plays when we needed it. And, man, I couldn't be happier for this group. You, you all are quite comfortable playing fast. I mean, you guys get out and go. Yeah. But there was a point in this game, Caitlin, where I'm just wondering, is this pace too much for anybody? Because there's so much, <laughs> right, emotional energy, physical energy. How did you guys have to kind of balance that to not let the moments get too big? Yeah, I think just relying on each other. But that's the type of basketball that we like to play every time we step on the floor. And it was go, go, go. These are the moments you work for. You know, it's 40 minutes. You're playing for 40 more. And... Um, I couldn't be more proud of our group. I thought, you know, these are the moments you prepare for. Um, this is what you condition for in the summers, um, you know, and you never get tired. Tired is what you tell yourself. And um, we just kept going. We kept pushing. Um, but like I said, we came up with big plays in the right moments. And, you know, that's all you can ask, especially um, in this type of tournament. You know what's so wild, Caitlin, is this game, look, we get it. All anyone's talking about today is you all playing them again. And this is just to get to Cleveland, right? Like the two <laughs> biggest games yeah. are still in front of you, and you got to earn the next 40 after that. So how do you balance yeah. the satisfaction of tonight versus what has to happen on Friday and beyond? Yeah, absolutely. You enjoy this, but, you know, this isn't, isn't the end-all, be-all for us. We want to win two more, but... You know, we know better than anybody else. you got to go one game at a time. Um, that starts at the beginning of the tournament. Uh, you know, West Virginia gave us everything we could handle in the round of 32. So you just got to find ways to survive. Survive in advance, and that's exactly what you do. And at this point, every single team is good. Everybody can be beat on every single night. We know that better than anybody else. And, um, you know, like you said, the job's not done. we got two more to win. And uh, But at the same time, we're going to enjoy this one for sure. Now, you said that to Holly. You hit her with the late great Kobe Bryant. Job's not finished, right? In order to finish the job, no matter what happens, whether it's the next game or the championship game, like this is the end of it. How do you stay present, Caitlin, in these moments, which has been an incredible joy ride that the country's been along for with you and your team this year? How do you let yourself enjoy what it is and still try to get to the finish line? Man, I think it's like I don't want it to end. That's the biggest thing is I know this is the end for me. Um, you know, I'm fighting to play 40 more minutes. I want to come back to practice the next day with my team. And <laughs> I love this university so much. I love the state of Iowa, you know, the way the country has supported us and our team and the way women's basketball has really rallied around this team and, you know, multiple teams all around the country. It's like we're just elevated the game so much and that's the coolest part for me is I want to keep living in these moments and enjoying these moments and soaking them in and uh, I think the biggest thing is, you know, I want to go out on the right note. I'm going to give it every single thing I got and, you know, it's hard to be the last team standing. There's 360 teams in Division One basketball and only one gets to end the season happy and, that wants to be that's going to be us. That's what we want to do. And um, you just got to believe it and go out there and earn it. And, um, you know, but at the same time, we know how hard it is. Right on. They say be present in your present. I believe your present requires you to cut some nets down. Go do that, Caitlin. I really yeah, I appreciate you sharing a minute. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks, Scott. Appreciate it.